Hi guys, welcome back to Derby County Community Trust. Uh, my name is Mark. Okay, we are here with the Premier League Reading Stars. It is Fixture 5. Uh, fixture 5 is all about poems. Okay, it is titled Poetry Slam. So we're going to have a little look today in the session at uh, loads of different types of poems. And then hopefully by the end of it, we're going to try and write our own. All right. Um, as usual, if you would like to, Okay, you can go on to one of our Super Movers videos now. All right, it's about five minutes long. Just a little bit of a kind of different activity to start off with before we move on to our warm-up activity for our main part of the session. All right, so if you want to have a little go at that now, um, I will see you back in five. See you soon. Okay. Uh, we're going to crack on then with our uh, fixture today. All right, remember it is all about poems, poetry slam. Okay, is the title today. Uh, we're going to do our warm activity then, just in case you didn't do the last super movers activity. Uh, the warm up activity today, it's nice and easy, nice and fun, uh, is called Rhyme It. Okay, it's very, very simple. We've given you some um, examples of some words that you can use. But if you don't like the look of these words, you can obviously use your own. You might use harder words, depending on who you are working with. All right, it's absolutely fine. Um, we've got five words here. So we've got foot, ball, net, flag, and team. And we're just going to give you kind of about five or ten minutes, all right, just to think of as many words that rhyme, okay, with each of those five words right there. All right, so just write as many down as you can. Coaches, teachers, parents, once they've had kind of like their five or ten minutes to do that, please go through it with them, explain the reasons why they do rhyme, why they don't, okay, just so we're getting our understandings, that's going to help us, especially when we're going to uh, write our own uh, poems, okay, etc. at the end, all right? So have a little go at that, and I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed okay, that little warm-up activity, Rhyme It. All right, it's good fun just to just get your brain working and obviously uh, figuring out kind of like how good we are at rhyming, all right, different words. Uh, we're going to move on now to quite an important part of today's fixture, okay? We titled this bit Discussion Time, okay? And there's lots of questions that I've got on here as well as the next slide that you'll be able to see in a second. Um, and it's just really kind of getting the brains working, all right, and picking out what we know already, okay, about poetry, about poems, all right? So certain questions on here will help you, okay, just to check understanding of what the group or what children already know, all right? So a couple of the questions here. What is the purpose of a poem? Do you enjoy reading listening to poems if so why and if you don't then why not do you have a favorite poem all right and you might be able to name a couple of poems and i'm sure they will have uh, been reading poems okay in class uh, does a song or a rap count as a poem okay a lot of children will probably not realize that a lot of the songs and music they listen to is in fact poetry, but just in a slightly different form. Okay, and at the end, um, how do you write a poem, or how's best do you think to write a poem? All right, you can either discuss these, like it says at the top, but even better if we can allow them a little bit of time, individually or in a pair, just to write down some answers to all of these, and then at the end, after about five or ten minutes discuss them okay so this is probably going to take you about 15 or 20 minutes to do this this bit here but it's a really important bit that we're checking understanding we're trying to find out what we know already in our groups okay about poems all right so have a little go at that i hope it'll be interesting Okay, uh, welcome back then guys. Hopefully you had a really good discussion okay, on that last little bit and hopefully answered um, all the questions if possible. 
Uh, we're going to move on now, all right? So uh, over the next kind of uh, five, five slides, uh, we're going to look at quite a variety. Uh, we're going to look at um, a definition uh, of what is poetry, okay, and get a definition of, the, of that. And then uh, we're going to look at some different types of poetry as well, okay? Uh, so the different types of poetry we're going to look at, and these aren't all of them, these are just a selection of ones that we've looked at. Um, we've got the narrative, okay, poetry, shape, uh, nonsense, and then haiku, all right? So over the next kind of few slides, each of the slides will focus on one of the types, all right, and whilst you're looking at that, or you might even pause it, obviously, to look at a certain type, we would like you to kind of figure out what are the differences between each of the types. And then if you can, all right, for extra points, do you think that you could research or do you think you know, okay, a poem or poetry that fits into each type? Okay, you might be able to research that at school, obviously, if not, if you've got in, uh, access to the internet, okay, you can do that at home, all right? So have a real good go at this, all right? Knowing the different types of poetry is really going to help you, okay, when we come to our, uh, obviously, writing of our own poem in a little bit, all right? Uh, so have a little go at that, and uh, I'll see you back in about 10 minutes. Okay, welcome back guys, all right, um, I know there's a lot of information there, okay, for that last task, but hopefully you found it really useful, and you got to um, eventually go through all the different types, and you figured out kind of like the differences between them, and maybe even got an example, okay, as well, for each of the types, if you did, top work, uh, a little bit of a kind of nice break, okay, now for this next task, because what we would like you to do is, if you can, if you've got time, just to watch um, a couple of videos, all right? So on the next slide, uh, there's a couple of links to uh, either a website, so that's poetrystation.org.uk. All right, there's loads of kind of poetry performances on there that you can have a little look at, all right? Have a little discussion about them, what do you think about them? And there's also a link, okay, uh, on the next slide for a video of um, some fans, okay? And they are chanting, okay, or singing a song, all right? And I want you to have a little think about, while you're watching that, do you consider, do you think that that is a form of poetry as well, all right? So um, have a little uh, watch of the videos, then you can have a little chat about it, even watch the videos again. All right, shouldn't take you no longer than kind of five, ten minutes. All right, uh, you're going to have a little go at that and then we're going to come back for our real big uh, main event. Okay, we're going to be writing our own songs, raps, chants, okay, or poems. Right then, um, it is time, guys, all right, to use all of the information, everything that you have gone through and learned, all right, in today's fixture, uh, and write your own, all right? So, I'm uh, going to give you uh, around about, obviously, 10 minutes, something like that, for this. Coaches, teachers, parents, if you think they need a little bit longer, or they can do it in a shorter amount of time, please do that, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we would like you, as I said, to kind of write your own, uh, and write your own, these are the rules. Uh, can it be a, a poem, a song, rap, or chant? Any one of them is absolutely fine. Uh, I've put here, it needs to be at least two lines long, 
but obviously if you're working with maybe an older year five, year six group, okay, or child, um, you know for a fact that they'll probably be able to do four lines, if not eight. Um, and at the end here, as we should know by now, a poem, okay, a song, chant, rap, it doesn't have to rhyme, all right, but you might give out some bonus points um, to the individual if it does. Topics wise, all right, theme wise, we're not too bothered about what you write about. You might write about your coach, you might write about your teacher, you might write about yourself, your friend, your school, could be anything like that, as simple as you want. All right, coaches, teachers, parents, please help with that, okay, to give them some ideas because they may be stuck. Uh, but hopefully you've got enough on here now and you've learned enough throughout the session to have a really good go, okay, at writing your own poem. And of course, if you can, if you feel confident enough, you might even be able to perform your poem, your song, your rap, okay, chant to your group, okay, or to your parents, whoever you are at home with, all right? Have some fun, and I will see you back for the last little bit, okay, setting you guys some homework. I'll see you soon. Okay, it is training challenge time, all right? Well done so far, guys. Hopefully you have done every single uh, activity. If you haven't, do not worry. All right, but if you have, we've got a little bit of uh, training homework all right, for you to do. Um, the challenge then for today's fixture is can you write a poem, song, rap, chant all right, uh, about a favourite sports team or maybe a favourite sports person? Okay? It could be your favourite team, could be Derby County. That would be absolutely brilliant. All right? Have a go at writing, uh, writing them. And obviously, if you can, if they are about Derby, please send them in to us or maybe even record yourselves, okay, reading it out. That would be brilliant, all right? Last couple of things from me are to say thank you for obviously uh, listening, okay, and taking part in today's fixture. Uh, and also, obviously, stay safe. Please stay safe. Uh, and we will see you uh, next week for our final fixture. Take care and see you soon.